Today I'm going to show you how to do this action in Geometry Nodes. Let's delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, and close this and this panel. And let's create a new profile. So this is really easy. What we have to do first, let's add set position. And if you want to push all the faces in the outside direction, the normal direction, we need to connect in offset because we want to offset the faces, the elements, we need to use normal direction. Now we change the size because it's using one value as default. So if we add here a vector math node in scale, we can scale this. Okay, but this is just scaling. However, how we do that we get all the faces separate. I mean to split the faces in different parts. So let's move this. To do that is really easy. We need to use a node called split edges. And basically this, what those, is to take one edge and split it in two parts. So we have like one, two for every edge. We have two. But now they are together. However, if after that we add a set position, and now I'm going to able, we have this action. So basically, if I leave it like zero, nothing happens. But thanks to this, that we split the edges, now we can push, we can move, offset the faces in the normal axis. So we can make this animation to open an object and we can open it or just close it. For example, I'm going to create a keyframe, open this and for example, go here and just add zero and create another keyframe. And now if we press play, we have this animation that can be really cool to create objects. Or we can do the inversion. Let's add zero, replace keyframes, and let's select this to see this one. So I press here and replace it. Something like that, for example. Replace keyframe. And now we have this animation. And later you can rotate the camera. So it's really cool to show, for example, different elements. And later you can close it again. So let's do it. For example, let's copy this. Let's paste it and let's copy this one. Control C, Control B. And let's make this longer. And now we have this animation. And you can do this with any object. For example, let's use a monkey. Let's add the cube and drag monkey. Let's delete this and connect it here. And let's hide the original object. So now we have the same animation with this monkey. So this is how split edges works. I'm sure now we are going to use it to create interesting animations. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.